Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Solid Fire, and I'm here with Jason. Jason, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Jason Langer. I'm a solutions architect with Denali Advanced Integration out of Seattle, Washington. Awesome. So uh, we were just talking earlier today. You know, we're both from places where this should be cool weather here in San Francisco. And uh, what do you think? Is it? This has been the hottest VMworld world I've ever experienced. Too hot for this guy. I mean, I didn't. As we talked about, didn't pack my cargo shorts. Try to dress it up a little bit, but definitely warm in the solution floor. Hot in the conference rooms, walking around. So. Especially when you're hitting those 20,000 steps a day. So speaking of hot, what is some of the hot stuff that you're seeing around? What are the announcements that are exciting? What's What's got your brain on fire here at... Uh... So for me, I focus around EUC, so there's a lot of announcements today on Tuesday for the EUC stuff for Horizon View uh, around expansion of RDSH apps, um, you know, bigger, larger clusters for Vue, um, announcements around user environment manager for uh, managing VDI desktops. So. Well, and I know you've been to a lot of VMworlds. What would you say, how is this one different? Like, are you seeing a lot of different types of announcements? Or what What do you think some of the, the changes and in innovations or just some of the... I think the, the, the change, obviously, from the uh, keynotes is VMware's focus around what I think is the DevOps culture. Definitely not focusing as much on the infrastructure. Um, I come from an infrastructure background, operations, you know, day to day. Uh, first couple of VMwares, you know, was always about building the monster VM, right? That was always Melvin the, the monster and all that stuff. Um, and I think you're seeing a shift from VMwares, like virtualization has gotten a little easier. Um, now it's about, you know, getting DevOps involved, getting developers involved, being more agile, those kind of buzzword bingo ideas. So for you, coming from that infrastructure side, I know a lot of people said, oh, this is going to be the death of infrastructure. People will lose their jobs. Like, you seem pretty calm and excited about what's going on. So what do you think has helped us kind of transition? It sounds like we've we've normalized about virtualization. I remember that was scary. Um, what, do, what do you think, how are you adjusting? How are you helping your colleagues adjust? I just think you get people to adapt. Um, you let them know that you know, as cliche as it sounds, one door opens, something else opens. Um, you know, you don't want to spend your day firefighting on storage or applications or this type of thing. You, f you fix those issues, you automate the responses to them, and you can focus on other stuff that you want to do. You can grow your career a lot differently. Um, you're not in that firefighting mode, but at the end of the day, you didn't really accomplish anything except for just staying on top of tuple tickets. You know, let the infrastructure run, let it maintain itself, and build yourself out to do other things. I love it. So uh, automate yourself into a nice vacation somewhere cooler. Yeah, the idea of you know holding on to stuff, being the one person that knows that, I know those are those are old school thoughts. You need to you know, want to share with everybody in your team or in your company, um, then just automate it and work on other stuff. You know, build yourself out, find something else for your next step in your career. You know, maybe you don't want to do operations the rest of your life. I love it. Those are words to live by. <laughs> yeah, no operations for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's cargo shorts from here on. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jason. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Appreciate it. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Pop Up Tech Talks.